this is why I, I, I love this this community that um, you've engendered, you, yourself and Louise have engendered, because um, uh, we started off as very, very green and very keen, watching uh, Get Out and Grow with the Happy Homesteaders. And so um, we feel like you guys have been part of our journey for pretty much two years now. Cool. And uh, it's sort of been ramping up. Um, and being a part of this and seeing people's reaction and everything has been a real motivation for us and an inspiration in helping us to believe that actually we are not mental. And <laughs> <laughs> that there, might, there might actually be some legs in what we're, in what we're trying to do. And um, if we can inspire or help some other people uh, to start doing similar things in their areas and start involving communities and using the land that uh, people immigrants have bought rather than leave it sitting fallow i think we're in a very unique uh position yeah. to be able to rejuvenate and regenerate not like i keep saying not only the land and but communities as well um and try and my aim if we can attract some of the younger portuguese people who traditionally move away from rural areas and get them to understand that there is some value in their family plots and, and things like that then i, I, I believe we're getting onto a win-win situation for everybody Love it. I love the sound of that. And so I'm going to ask you about communities in just a moment, because that was part of the uh, thrust today of the show, because uh, this whole idea of taking that a stage further, not just growing food. Uh, and you're not mad doing that. Uh, you are an inspiration, truly uh, an inspiration to other people, Jason, and long may that continue. Uh, a couple of comments before we get into the whole community thing, because you had a very interesting comment about that, which I think is the title of the show today um, on, on the slide of the show. Dear Carl, I know this is not the show, but can I have your WhatsApp? You can, 913-590-303, um, to contact Gilda. I'll put you in touch with Gilda for sure. It is a matter that I can explain privately, of course. Uh, and it is urgent. So, yes, of course, Edith, uh, 913-590-303. I'll make sure that scrolls on the screen so you can catch that. Question from, before we talk about communities, Jason, where are you, Jason, and when will you aim to be open? The question, uh, when, was answered as soon, um, but uh, where are you? Near Pedroga Grande, right, uh, Jason? Yeah, we're in, a, we're in a small village between, uh, which is pretty geographically slap bang between Pedroga Grande and Figaro dos Vinos. In a place called Villa Fakaya. Yeah. Um, Villa Fakaya was, and this air, area was hit pretty heavily in the 2017 fires. Yes. But prior to that, Villa Fakaya was really well known for its food. It was What's really, it? really well known for its bread, its olive oil, wine, and its chestnuts. Um, after those events, what was once quite a bustling village uh, centre with lots of shops and various things. Uh, a lot of people lost heart and um, shut shut up shop, obviously, because it was, it was quite a traumatic event. Um, but we believe that the bare bones of what it was that made it great at the time is now what are we, six, seven years uh, down the line, uh, the regeneration of the land is starting to happen. And like I say, hopefully we can attract some of the younger people to not feel like it's all been broken and that there is some hope for the future. Brilliant. Well, we'll talk about that more with Joao Oliveira when he joins us in a few minutes as well. That's fantastic. Uh, the uh, the Cain Sabia. Um, and uh, the uh, deep thought of the day we will also uh, cover later on in the show um, as we move towards 10 o'clock. Uh, the question remains, what is this? Uh, this is a picture quiz. Where is that? What is that? Attracting 600,000 people. Uh, uh, thought to be one of the biggest festivals in the world. Where is this? And uh, what will be happening uh, in this particular city soon? Uh, make your guesses at learnaboutportugal.com. Communities then, Jace, uh, you had a really good retort to this. Uh, there was a based on a meme that was uh, I posted on Facebook. Got myself into some hot water, actually. 
normalize buying 100 acres of land uh, with your friends, uh, growing your own food, medicinal plants and families together. You said community was what a state of mind, an attitude rather than a, a location. Yeah, I believe it's a mindset rather than a location. Thumbs um, up for Mrs. M. We, we are social beings. Yeah. Um, but we are not designed to live on top of each other. Um, and so our idea of community is, is we have we have a patch here. And if people within an hour of us, if they're doing similar things, then our idea of community is we share knowledge, tools, seeds, um, spaces to sell, to swap, to barter and every, encourage everybody to do a bit in their own place. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going to end up with oases of land which are abundant and everywhere else is still going to be a little bit bare. Yeah. Whereas if you, if you grow better tomatoes than me, I'd be a fool not to come and see you and speak to you, maybe get some seed from you. Yeah. And it's like swap you some of my pick a lily. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> and then and then everybody benefits. And then yes. all of a sudden everybody everybody's doing a little bit better without having to worry about who's done the washing up or whether your alfalfa's gone missing from the communal fridge or yes. you know. That's in my experience me, in my experience of communities um different people have different skill sets and different work ethics and different motivations and they are on a sliding scale depending on personal circumstance and i, I just tend to find communities um are too rigid and as and the other thing is we have lots of people out here, and I, I see it all the time. Hi, we're traveling through Portugal. We're looking to buy a big chunk of land and establish a community. Yeah. And there are far more of those kind of posts than there are of people saying, we want to join a community. Um, and my maybe infantile understanding of this is a lot of people don't want to be living by themselves, but they also want to be community leaders. Yes. And so, which kind of goes against the ideals of community. Um, and in the UK, I used to be involved with the Cooperative Society, yeah. which runs in a similar way, but anybody who's part of the cooperative has a share. Um, and so I've seen with some communities here that they they have a def definitive uh, lifespan. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, a lot of people um, who are keen to become involved but don't have the means to do something themselves offer their services, their time, their resource and their labour for somewhere to, say, live and maybe some food every day. Um, but if something if there's a disagreement somewhere, then the per people whose name is on the deed sometimes gets rid of people. And I was trying to explain to somebody that uh, it appears to me that a lot of these people are trying to advocate a communal lifestyle. But if you're using people to just for somewhere to live and maybe one meal a day, you're capitalizing on their labor yep doesn't make you a bad person but it kind of does make you a capitalist <laughs> it's a slippery slope isn't it and i suppose as long as people understand that it's fine but if it's pretending to be something else well, that's where the awkwardness is isn't it yeah and so i think it's, it's something that can easily be misconstrued uh i don't want to use the word abused because I'm pretty sure that all these people have the very best of intentions. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've seen quite a few where people have put a lot of work in and a lot of their time and a lot of their energy and love 
Yeah. And then when the work is done, then all of a sudden this uh, utopia that they've helped to create is, is it can, it's been taken away from them, which is a shame. Well said, Jason. Let me bring uh, Joao Oliveira on. He's been patiently waiting. I'm sure he'll have something to say about this. Hola, bon dia, Joao Oliveira. Hola, bon dia, bon dia. Uh, bon dia. How are you? Oh, really well. It's been great. I, you heard what Jason was saying there, Joao. So good to have you here. Thanks for being here. Um, more and more in Portugal, there are people, especially central Portugal, they, they're driving often in a white van and they, they rock up somewhere and say, we're looking to buy a piece of land and start a community or, or grow our own food and, and grow our own kids and all that sort of stuff here. Are you hearing more and more about this? And, and what is your advice to those people? Well, uh, yes, uh, on, a, on, a, on a certain way, yes. And that is, Perfect. That is great. That is great. Uh, but then I'm also observing even myself. So everybody. Uh, so it, it's not that we can change uh, our way of being from uh, from one moment to the other. You know. So we always take our uh, old uh, uh, our, our old patterns, our old habits uh, with us on on the new cycle. So uh, then sometimes it is the new cycle that obliges. Uh, by force to abandon uh, the old patterns, and uh, some people do not survive that. That's the truth. Some well, people do. <laughs> yes, and and, and, it's like and then they, they they come back uh, to the city, and then uh, they just have a, a a house in the in the in the countryside, and uh, that's good enough. That's already uh, uh, better than 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 before. So. But it's true. It's true. People do carry their patterns from uh, one cycle to the other, and some people survive it, and some people don't. Yeah, it and if if your community is going to be a place where you work on your old patterns, it's good to have that as an explicit thing, uh, rather than something that keeps breaking out with endless house meetings and acrimony mm -hmm. and the sort of things that um, Jason was talking about before. About which Sharon Cooper said, "This guy is talking sense." I'm sure you're going to hear Joao Oliveira talking some sense as well. Um, Sarah's here. Bon dia to you, Sarah. You're awesome. And um, there's this is a really good point. There's already community in Portugal. Get involved. That's a really smart point, isn't it? Is that people live, uh, it, it, relatively speaking, in much more of a community valuing, human valuing way in Portugal than some of the countries uh, us lot have come from. So yeah, get involved. Um, and uh, on this other, on this matter of uh, people wanting to buy land and get involved in the in the community in Portugal, because it's something we we sense and love about. Portugal. There's still lots of lovely land available, isn't there, as well, Oliveira? Like uh, Jason was saying, he, you know, some even some even some Portuguese youngsters are thinking, do you know what? Maybe I won't travel abroad. Maybe I won't go to the city. I, I quite like what these hippies are doing in where my nanny and granddad used to live. What's going on with that? Is, it, is, is there a regeneration opportunity here for Portugal? And is there still lots of land to buy? Well, uh, yeah, uh, yes and no. Yes, uh, for sure there is a lot of land to buy. Uh, no, no, there is not so much beautiful, amazing, uh, ready-to-go land uh, available to buy. No, no. There's a, a lot of creepy, uh, absolutely dev devastated pieces of land. Uh, I don't know, by eucalyptus, monocultures, by all kind of uh, practices that yeah. are only only focused on, uh, on uh, making some money, you know. Uh, and that you can uh, find a lot available. Uh, finding beautiful places already ready to go with a full canopy of uh, beautiful woods, no, not at all. And um, usually those pieces of land are the result of um, a lot of years, even to, even generations of uh, dedication to, to a plot of land. About communities, the thing that I'm observing, and that is not helping the experts, Say, and maybe that's even helping Shiga. It's um, just fucking forget about it. Sorry, the F word, but just forget about that hippie stuff of now, now let's make a community. Come on, you're a city boy, you're a city girl. It's not that you're putting up a community like in the books, on the, in the fairy tales from just uh, one moment to the other. 
connect yourself with the local community. If you don't connect yeah. yourself with the local community, people will start fantasizing all the bad things about you being a drug dealer or uh, uh, or being a, a, someone that is here only only to evade taxes on, on its own land and stuff like that. So there is a community here. It's called the uh, Aldeia. It's called Village. It's called the Villa. It's called uh, the Small Town. That yeah. community will uh, have a lot of you, amazing stuff for you, waiting for you uh, uh, to 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 also help and to also add stuff to it. You know. So and uh, if you close yourself and uh, only try to find other aspects, you will never leave the community living. You know. You will always pursue a, 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 a dumb dream that was already uh, uh, abandoned in the 60s. You know, and uh, then on, on the on the 90s, you know, uh, before we had the EPs, now we had the, we have the trippies, and that is not helping. You know, it's not that tripping around. It's like it, it, then you build a community and making a lot of parties. You're not making a community out of it. You know, you're making a community once you connect with the local community. And if you do connect with the local community, then I'm sure, I'm sure you will live uh, 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 up to your dream. You will manage to. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm changing tires, <laughs> and it's just not <laughs> easy to do both. <laughs> but but it's welcome. that. It's that. I, I I'm pre I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you will find your way towards the community if you do connect yourself with the community, and if you do realize that you will have no a better man or better woman. Polly, Polly, Polly. You will have no better man or better woman. Uh, being uh, 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 from your nationality or not, you know. So, uh, as well, just trying to. I love. I love what you said. Let's bring Jason back because Jason um, changed we were, my we tires. Were, we were going to cross over, but I think there's some. There might be Sorry. some things in there you want to respond to. I mean, feel feel free to stay with us as long as you want, Jason. I know you're yeah. a busy fellow as well, but he made some good points there, did he okay. not? I think it's. Oh, I think it's. Done. Sorry, guys. Absolutely. Um, our, our local community, um, it took us a little while to gain their trust, which is completely understandable for a lot of the reasons that Joao pointed out there. Yeah. Um, but now um, there seems to be a bit of a groundswell. Um, people are interested in what we're doing, but equally we make no bones about the fact that we're very interested in what they're doing. Yeah. And so once once the low once the people in our local area realized that we we weren't messing around and we, we weren't playing at farm and that we were actually going to try and do something and that they could see it was going to be a benefit to the community. Now, when we're when I'm working on the shop, because it's right up by our front gate, because we want it to be very visible. Um, now we're, we're getting Portuguese people, they're asking us if we would be interested in selling their wine, their products, um, they're interested in when we're going to be opening, um, they like the fact that we're adding to the community rather than taking anything away from anybody, there's nobody else in our village who's going to be having a, essentially what's a fruit and veg shop. Um, and because we've got quite an aging population here, yeah. uh, they can see there's a direct correlation to what we're doing and the fact that it is actually going to be not just a benefit to us, which yeah. is great for us personally as a family, but also to the people around here because it's going to make... You know, I won't be the only person who doesn't have to go to a supermarket and I won't have to get in a car or take the one bus a week that there is to go into the main town. Yeah. And so it's like there's a, a definitive point where we're hoping that it's going to make a lot of people's lives here um, easier. And we, we like being really accessible to our local village. Um, we've got the Festa of São Joao coming up this weekend. Fantastic. Um, and we're, we're really looking forward to going and getting involved. I'll go and we're we'll take 10 litres of wine down there to plonk on a table and we'll, we'll get fed by the local junta. And Lovely. so it's like for us, 
Um, once we got going, it's just been win, win, win in terms of integrating with our neighbours and um, and our land. You are exemplary in this manner and, and exactly what Joao was talking about. You know, the hippie, we were hippie, then we were trippy. It's maybe time to get grippy, isn't it, and get to grips with the reality. <laughs> Stay serious. Let's let's bring you back onto the screen. You like that, Joao? <laughs> Hippy to trippy to grippy. Let's get a grip on reality here. Um, and uh, Pete, we love our community, especially helping at the first uh, language lessons, the hunting association, the fact you can sit in a pub and never pay for a drink. And obviously, the ex oh, I see, as in you're not being hustled out if you're not drinking. And obviously, the expat community, too. I thought Pete was like sitting there having free drinks all night. Um, great to see the progress on the shop, Jason, from Mark as well. Shout out if you need a hand. And that's all part of being in community, isn't it? If you need a hand, you give a shout. That's a, a really tangible part of living in community. Uh, Mark, Not Mark's a perfect good. example. He Go lives on. about 45 <laughs> minutes from me. Um, we see each other quite regularly. And he's, he's this self-sufficiency stuff, you'd be amazed how many people it takes to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Not very self. Yeah, there's Most less self. self. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's lots of elves, elf sufficiency, maybe. Um, people... <laughs> the, Santa, the Santa model of exploitation yeah. of others. Yes, okay. Uh, good to see you out too, and hope you're making great impact in your land. Got to go pick a few more peaches. There's the reality right there. Wise words, Joao, from Peter Country Bear Marcus. The idea of creating a community is inherently dismissive of the already existing community. Separation breeds mistrust. And and you mentioned, didn't you, Shager and the, you know, some some of the anti uh, expat foreigner immigrant sentiments that are around in this political environment. It's a good time yeah. to show yourself and your hand, isn't it? Rather than tr doing something secret, because that was such a good point you made, Joel. If you're not explicit, if you put yourselves behind a gate and um, a fence doing strange stuff, People think things about you that might not even be true. Their fantasies and their dreams and their exactly. ideas of what they're doing, they get carried away with they with those, can't they? Well, it it is a psychological stuff. If you don't, if you have a neighbor and you don't know anything about it, you will create something in your mind to uh, uh, enter uh, your need to understand reality. Okay. Right. So if you yeah. show yourself, if you if you go to the coffee place. Sometimes I even don't drink a coffee, but if I go to my village, I always go to the main coffee place, you know, or at least I say, hey, hello and stuff, you know, the more they know about my life, the less they invent about my life, the less they fantasize about my life. So yes. it's not uh, one thing. One thing is giving yourself too much to others uh, opinion. It's not that, that I'm saying because that might also be dangerous. The thing is, don't hide yourself. Uh, 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 behind your 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 expect community, you know there is no integration if you create if you create two communities. That is segregation. That is not integration. You know, for having that integration, uh, uh, fight something. You will always find good people and bad people in every people. You know, the the, the being uh, the, the Indian people, the Bangladeshi people, the Portuguese people, the German people, the, the the Brazilian people. You will always find great people and bad people. You know, so that's universal. You will find if you close yourself in an expat community, you will find awful people for sure. It's human nature. You know, so the thing that I'm uh, saying it it is so utterly important. Don't you like the country that you're living in? Then work for it. You know, I also not liking absolutely a, a lot of stuff about Portugal. So that's why we need to work in community. That's why. That's why I, 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 it's it's so important for me to connect with you, Carl, and to com and to connect with the expat Portugal. It's to uh, uh, understand the ways that I could interact and I could contribute that the expat community start doing the same things that Portuguese want to do here, like investing, like getting things better, like uh, 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 going to, to the city hall, to uh, hundreds of meetings until the politicians just understand that they also need us to continue to being a, a politician. You know, so uh, it's uh, uh, let, let, let's group together uh, and face humanity, uh, human values as a whole. So if I have someone that is good uh, speaking to uh, to the president, 
uh, of the city. Well, he doesn't mind if he's Portuguese or if he's uh, English. It minds that he is great speaking to politicians. You know, if he's uh, doing a great job in national construction, great that he's a, 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 an English or a Scottish dude, as I have one here nearby. But if uh, uh, it could also be Portuguese, it could also be Bangladeshi, it could also be black, uh, uh, white, uh, Asian, whatever, you know. So that is integration. That is uh, putting this country uh, moving towards and moving forward and, and improving uh, from local to global, you know. And that's what we need more and more and more and more. Otherwise, the guys from Shiga are only saying those guys are coming here to 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 cultivate dope and uh, they must be drug dealers because uh, no nobody knows uh, from where the money uh, comes from uh, and um, also some uh, I, I do under I, I do observe that uh, in some people that only connect with their communities then they have shitty responses and comments on the on the on the on the social networks like that guy saying about uh, uh, the, the bridge that he couldn't spell in, uh, in Porto, you know? And, oh, yeah. uh, and I do find that also here in Alpadrinha, in uh, Alcaide, in Castelejo, here in Fundão. You know, I had uh, this, this German saying that in 40 years, he never saw uh, 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 a German uh, committing a crime. And then, come on, about Maddy? Do you know Maddy? Maddy, the girl, the guy, is in German, uh, in jail. Yeah. The guy from Rammstein is in jail, uh, you know, uh, so it's um, the situation, it's that for being totally uh, uh, integrated in this country, you need to connect with the local community. And why trying to make uh, uh, um, a model that has failed, that is the EP community model, the, the only community model that I saw working somehow, somehow, it's that spiritual model in which yeah. I'm not totally sure that it's working, but it is connected by a spirituality bond, you know, yeah. and then it turns into sex, as uh, <laughs> Lee was telling, you know, but yes, yes, it's true, it's true. So, uh, so it's not even working that much. Come on, yeah. it's not even working that much, but what is working so much is like uh, in the in the south uh, uh, west of Portugal, that uh, the, the expat community managed to open schools. Come on, we didn't, you know. So how beautiful, how amazing is that? Uh, uh, closed uh, uh, primary schools, basic schools, were reopened by the lobby of the expats. But they, those ex expats were also with the Portuguese community and the Portuguese kids. And that's amazing. That's beautiful. That's what we need, you know. Uh, and uh, all the expats will never be able to uh, uh, do so much and, 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 and uh, uh, involve so many if they do not connect with the Portuguese community. And that was also the purpose, the, the, the founding purpose of my first contact to you, Carl. You know, it's a, let's put this stronger. Let's put uh, this bond, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, tighter and, and, and starting to make a mesh that even the, the worst politicians or, or, or the worst members of the community cannot uh, 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 reap. You know, yes, that's my message. Well, said. well, thank you for your message this morning. Um, I, I also want to ask you, if I may, about um, this 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 matter of people underestimating what it takes. So th th we've talked about the misunderstanding part, haven't we? Of like, yeah, I want to go to Portugal and pick up on the vibe I like there and start my own community. I think we've dealt with that quite quite firmly and and wisely with you two here talking about it. Um, but the whole underestimation of what it takes uh, and, and how uh, idealistic and over-optimistic people can be. Uh, we had a brief conversation about this yesterday, and I think you know about this uh, as well, Jason. People, that, you know, it, it can take years, can't it? It's not just a matter of buying a plot and reading a permaculture book. This is, th there is a timeline to this as well, isn't there? What would you say about that, Joao? And we'll come back to you on Jason, to that uh, point with, for you, Jason, as well. But... People are underestimating what it takes, aren't they, uh, Joao? Well, uh, they do. They do. Some, uh, some uh, videos, some uh, books. They might also fantasize a bit. Um, but it's um, in anything about life, you need the challenge to evolve. You know? So thank God for the challenge. Thank God for the difficulties. You will be a better person. 
okay? You will be a, a, a better father, a better friend, a better mother, a better, a better uh, member of your community, you know? Challenge will uh, make you improve, okay? If you really want for easy stuff, prepare yourself to um, be very uh, resent re resented person in the, la in the late years of your life, you know, because wow. you have not fulfilled yourself totally and absolutely. So embrace difficulty, embrace challenge, embrace uh, 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 getting, uh, uh, in making yourself a better person every day, you know, and this way uh, effort will be part of the job. Effort uh, will be part of uh, uh, the, the, the goodness of evolution and feeling yourself uh, being stronger and stronger and stronger, you know. So effort does not be does need to be painful uh, uh, within your heart. It might be painful in your body, but uh, also if it is painful in your body, it means that in the in the when you go to sleep, you will sleep like a baby. You will sleep like an angel, you know. And you will have in your mind, and it's true. And you will have in your mind, uh, uh, in your dreams. Uh, uh, the, 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 the foreseeing of your uh, uh, near future and, and the good things that you're doing uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow and after tomorrow, you know. So uh, thank God that it's hard. Thank God that it's uh, uh, difficult. Thank God that it's challenging because you will be a fucking better person every day, every week, every month, every year. Well right. done, Joe. And no one knows this better than Jason, right? <laughs> Oh, I mean, I've said I've said on many an occasions when 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 you're embarking on this kind of thing, um, be prepared to fail. Um, I'm kind of adjusting that. It's it's not failure. It's it's giving you a chance to improve. And so, what's happened here is like people from we we could be one of those YouTube channels where people look. And it looks like, oh, this is easy. But what people forget is it's taken us nearly three years to, yes. get, to get to this point. And it's been lots of tiny little incremental advances. Um, and so the two steps forward, one step back thing kind of holds true. But there have been occasions where even if you're doing your very best and we've been trying to grow vegetables. So say for instance, last year where we had a really very hot summer, we put so much work in at the beginning of the year and it's like, and then because it was so dry and everything like that, a lot of our fruit failed. We didn't get any plums. We didn't get any pears. We didn't get very many cherries. Um, a lot of vegetables. It took just a, uh, an exorbitant amount of work just to get water to them and so this year um i bought a, an irrigation system which was a quite a bit of a cost for us and obviously the year i buy that we've had loads of rain all throughout the year <laughs> and and so there's there's lots of little challenges like that which um are there not to hamper you, but just to remind you that, you know, this game isn't easy. Um, and I can see the idea of that's where community comes in because um, I'm a very practical person in many ways. So things like solar and water and mechanical things, I've been doing it for so long, for so much of my life. It's, it's just the thing that I can do. But on the adverse side of that, Oriel, my partner, she is practical in other ways. And so I could grow the veg potentially, but I, apart from eating it and feeding the leftovers to my chickens, I wouldn't have a clue what to do with it. And so then she makes all the preserves and the pickles and gets everything uh, stored and stuff it. like that. And I just want, wonder whether... Yes, you can get a lot of knowledge from books and things like this, but also, unless you have actual hands-on practical experience of some of these things, it's not to say that you won't be able to do it, but the time frame in which you're going to be able to achieve your objective is going to be greater than, than, you, than you actually believed. And 
It's things like that. There's a lot of people they want to grow like food forests and syntropic farming, and they arrive and they've got lots and lots of energy and lots of uh, zeal, and so they go and buy like a load of young fruit trees, and they think because they've planted thirty trees that they're going to have an abundance of fruit without realizing it's it's going to take you six years. Yeah, and so it's not just the fact that you've got like. Uh, you've done the work. You've also got to wait for time, the seasons. There's pests and animals and weather conditions, uh, which do actually make it. In the beginning, it can be fraught with danger as to whether you're going to succeed or not. Yes. Thank you, Jason. And we've seen you. I mean, the, the insight into your how you live and what you've been doing has been so valuable for people to understand that. And thank you for letting us share in that. It brings us right back to the deep thought where we started with C.S. Lewis. Thank you, T. Duck, for this deep thought of the day from C.S. Lewis. Failures, repeated failures, are finger posts on the road to achievement. One fails forward towards success. And the startup movement think they invented this don't they fail fast but this was c.s lewis saying this uh, what a century ago um clive lewis uh, clive staples lewis held academic positions in english literature at both oxford university and cambridge university we had a cane sabir as well an amazing um let's let's talk about just very briefly before we go to final thoughts from both of you um the engineer jean philippe invented one of the most important objects for the international radio and television industry i've got one in front of my face the wind ball in Portuguese, they are known as Bolas de Vento. <laughs> and as part of the RTP, RTP TV technical team, Philippe was responsible for sound capture. He realized there was an issue with microphones from wind noises. Oh, don't we know that uh, when we're uh, doing this show uh, with people outside during live outdoor broadcasts? And at first, Philippe wrapped the microphone uh with oh hold on a minute i've lost where i was with this um bear with bear with bear with um at first he wrapped a, a, the microphone with a handkerchief this helped with wind noise and the problems associated with it but he wanted to create a more robust solution so he consulted with a friend together they designed and fabricated a wire sphere wrapped in fabric the first use of their wind ball was a soccer match the results were amazing wind noise was practically eliminated their original Bola de Vento lasted for many years today. They are known as windscreens, pop screens, pop filters, and the furry ones are actually called dead cats. Incredible. Thank you, T-Duck, for that. Uh, there you go. Some in, uh, Portuguese inventiveness as a little bit of an aside. Um, and I will finish with dad jokes uh, for you both because you've been ever so good this morning. Um, but final words from you both. Uh, a final word from you, Jason, now strolling around your land now. Yeah, well, it's like I realise I've just been sat in the shop, which uh, could be anywhere in the world. Um, and so I love the rain, but it also brings lots of extra work. But the thing about it is, it's like I get to come outside and, you know, I, I get this every day. Bless you. It's like apple trees absolutely full of fruit, pear and plum. I cut my grass two weeks ago. It's now four foot high again. Um, <laughs> as I just think that the environment that is available in Portugal is is an amazing thing. And if you do l get involved with your communities, get involved with the land, and it's like you will, for us, we feel that the benefits outweigh the amount of work that we do. And it's like Joel says, when we go to bed at night, we feel blessed. We live in a beautiful place, which is abundant. And we get to share it with lots of amazing people. And it's like I'd, I'd urge people to you know, get amongst it and to, you know, help themselves. This is this is a self-help program for us as much as anything else. Wonderful. Cheers, Jason, and we look forward to seeing you again next month, my friend. Um, thank you for being here. Well, we won't see you next month. You've got a new gig, so we're going to be working with you in a new way, and yeah. I'm hoping that you'll help us co-host the Fundal weekend, Joao. Um, last yeah, words yeah. from you, then. Tell us more about that and maybe a last insight from you in this context before we meet you in Fundal for a weekend. 
Well, uh, uh, it is, um, uh, for, for one side, uh, life is going beautifully, okay, and, uh, and it means um, the, 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 the manifestation of, uh, of a dream that will uh, take a lot of effort, but that's the good things also about dreams. It makes you be stronger. About uh, Fundal, yes, we do need uh, uh, to create a platform in which uh, the expat community uh, connects itself with uh, the Portuguese community to create only one community. And with that one community, we can fulfill our objectives better, you know, and uh, may that be developing the land, may that be education, may that be infrastructure, may that be uh, pol uh, international policies. But we do need to, to connect uh, together because uh, uh, some have the expertise, some have the money, some have the labor. And uh, uh, we, uh, I will be working with uh, one Bangladeshi on the next uh, six months and one uh, Indian. And that means that it's, uh, we also have this wonderful uh, 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 community coming here helping us doing what the Portuguese do not want to do, you know? So, and uh, it's fair enough, no, no judgment, okay? But they will be also part of the solution. They will be also yeah. part of the band. And that's what we can do here in Fundal. We can connect these three communities, you know, the migrant working community, the, the migrant investing community, and the local community. And there are so many opportunities, and hopefully also we, we find the right partners, the city halls and, and all the others, so we can uh, actually put everyone nearer and closer to the opportunities that uh, European funding, but not only are giving us, uh, uh, but also forgetting about the European funding. We, uh, uh, these three different groups, can actually uh, uh, create their own opportunities and can actually create a, a, a better way of yeah. living and that we are more connected and closer to our main goal. Fantastic, Joel. <laughs> Superb. And we, who, who, who is this gentleman we're meeting now, Jason? It's the minha amigo, muito bem, Agostini. Agostini, uh, muito prazer. Obrigado, igualmente. Baby, baby. Agostini, on the show this morning. Fantastic. Obrigado. Oh, I'm going to give you some uh, dad jokes, fellas, before we say goodbye this morning. I can tolerate algebra and maybe even a little bit of calculus, but geometry is where I draw the line. Boom. Don't play stupid with me. I'm at an expert level. Well, hey, and uh, oh, hold on a minute. That's not a joke. It's true, though. The summer sol solstice is tomorrow. We'll do some solstice stuff tomorrow. The nights are drawing in, everybody. And this, finally, my favourite essential oil is bacon grease. Thank you very much. You've been amazing this morning, guys. Really incredible to talk to you. Well, we'll see you in another formation. Thank you so much, Carl. Uh, thank you future. so much, Jason. Well, thank you for your wonderful insights. Jason, thank you too. Je fellas, have a great day in Portugal. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, wonderful. Though, aren't they incredibly inspiring gentlemen who we've been in the company